Hi, Russ Crowley here and welcome to One Click Thesis. In this video, I'm going to show you One Click Thesis and how it works. So I've opened up the folder on my desktop and here I see onesclickthesis.docm. I double click on the file to open it in Word. And after a few seconds, Word will open and you'll see the form displayed. Now I'm running Word 2016, but this works on Word 2007, 2010, 2013 and any PC versions after 2007, basically. And as you can see, we get this Create New Thesis form. It consists of four tabs, Title Details, University and Appointees, Additional Pages, and one tab for if you need assistance. Now you enter all your thesis details in these first three tabs. As you can see, there's quite a bit of information, but I'm sure you're aware that you, you need this information for your academic work. And you basically type in your information, make sure it's correct, on all three tabs. Once you get to the additional pages, you can deselect the pages that you don't want. Once you've entered in all your information, click on the Save button and then you can save your details to a text file. Well, I've already done this, so I'm going to click on Load Thesis Details. Go back to my desktop and my one-click thesis folder, look in my DLIM files, and then I'm going to load this information. Now this is the thesis that my wife wrote for her master's degree and as you can see it populates all the information into the form with university name, location, committee members and for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to use all of the additional pages and then just quickly go through, check the information is correct and then, then I click on the create thesis button. What happens now is Word will create the thesis in the background. Now, creating a thesis is simple with one-click thesis, as you will see, as is updating, writing, and formatting it. As soon as the thesis is created, it automatically saves with the title, name, and today's date. So I click on Save, and then here we have my thesis. It's a bit squeezed on the page because I've had to reduce the screen size for the quality of the video. But as I scroll down now, you can see, I turn these show hide characters off. You can see that we have this thesis information all nicely structured. There was a copyright page, certificate of approval. Then we come down to the dedication page and the epigraph. Of course, I could have deselected these in the initial form and they wouldn't have been created. But if you need them, they're there. Then down to the table of contents. Then our abbreviations, list of figures, list of tables. There aren't any in the document as yet, which is why they're saying no entries found. But in the video training that accompanies One Click Thesis, I show you how to enter all of these in the correct manner. And this is one of the automation features of Word. Doing this using Word correctly will save you many hours over the course of your study. There's no manual updating of page numbers and moving charts and tables and figures around. It's all done automatically if you use Word correctly. And I show you how to do this in the training. Then we come down to the preface page and then we're down into the body of the thesis. Now it's important that you read this information because this tells you how to use Word correctly. Word uses styles. And what I've done is I've created a main styles menu where all you need to do to create a heading or style in the document is to click on the button. So for example, if I wanted to make this heading two, I click on heading two and it's perfectly formatted in APA style. If I wanted to make it a heading three or a heading four, then I can do it that way. If for some reason this was a quote, then I click on the quote button and you get a perfectly formatted quote. If I needed a numbered list, then I have four levels of numbering to, to move it across the document as you can see. If it was bulleted list, I have my unordered lists. This is actually in a drop down menu because my screen size has been reduced for this video. But if it was a level one bullet or a level two bullet, level three bullet or a level four bullet. And the way the template is set up is that the styles will flow automatically. So I insert a heading two and then I press the return and I immediately get body style, which is indented by 1.27 centimeters. If I want to enter 10 paragraphs of 10 sentences, then they're all perfectly formatted and spaced out. And this is the beauty 
of using word styles. And again, all this is covered in, in the video training and nothing is left to chance to learn exactly how to use Word to the best of its ability. Come back up to the title page and if you saw when I scrolled down we have some grey text in and this is telling you about certain elements of Word which you have to be careful of. Note there is a section break immediately after this paragraph and if I turn on show hide characters you can see we have this break here. Now it's important that you don't delete this break because Word will do funny things if you do. And these hints and tips are throughout the document. But of course once you've finished writing your thesis and it's ready for submission then you don't need these, this information anymore. So then we just double click to remove the paragraph. We double click on that one and then we double click on that one and so on and so forth. So as you can see writing your thesis, formatting your thesis and getting your thesis ready for publication is very very easy indeed. Nothing is left to chance. I cover all this in the video training and all you have to do, do the research and write your thesis. Very very easy to do indeed. And by using Word how it's meant to be used you can easily save yourself many hours of manual labor using Word. This template uses macros and you might have heard about macros and have some thoughts about how risky they are. Now if I click on developer and I come into my, this is my template, I created this myself and this is what what we do. And then if I click on digital signature you can see my certificate. This certificate is intended for the following purposes. Ensure software came from me and it protects the software from alteration and I have a thought, thought SHA256 code for signing certificate. Here's the details, here's the certificate path, and it shows that my code is good and safe. As I said, this template will save you many hours of study. At a conservative guess, when my wife was doing her thesis, if she'd have had a template like this, it would probably have saved her somewhere between 60 and 80 hours of work over the course of her two years of study. And it can do the same for you, but only if you take action today. So take the right steps now. Click on the button below and start creating your thesis. Immediately after purchase, you're taken to the registration page and you can literally be up and running with one-click thesis within a matter of minutes.